Hi guys, I'm Brittany from penniesintopearls.com and in today's video I'm going to tell you all about the one toy box rule, what that means and how it's going to keep your kids toy clutter contained and organized. So stay tuned! This is what it is. You separate all your toys into boxes and then the kids can pick out one box, just one, one box at a time, kids. Then when they're done with that box, they can put all the toys back in, they stay organized, and the box goes back in the shelf, and then they can choose another box. You guys can see my kids' toys before they were organized like this. This is what it looked like. It was just crazy. There was toys everywhere. They weren't just in the kids' room. They were slowly creeping out into our front room, into our living room, into the kitchen, into my bedroom even. They were just getting everywhere. Oh, this is gonna save you and you're gonna be so happy you did this. I wish I did this um, about four years ago. This is how you get your boxes together. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take out all of the toys. Every toy in your entire house, get it out, put it all out in the living room. Every single toy from every closet, every nook and cranny is coming out. Second thing you're gonna do is to throw away the junk. Next, decide which toys you're gonna donate because your kids might have grown out of some toys. We still have younger kids in our family, so toys are still being passed down. But once those toys are done, and you know that your kids aren't gonna play with them anymore, then you might wanna donate them or sell them for a little extra cash. Now we're ready to organize these toys. Look at them all. Look at them all. And don't get overwhelmed because this is gonna work. The next thing you're gonna do is figure out what kind of storage you need. Now, I would have loved, loved, loved to go to Target and pick out some super cute printed storage stuff, but I went and looked and I was gonna need about $100 worth of storage, so I was like, $100 on storage? Nah, nah, nah. So, I looked through our closet. We had these storage tubs all the way back here. Look for things that you have in your house already. Some other things that we've used to organize these toys that we already had on hand. Formula containers, we have those coming out of our ears. And then a bunch of totes that we just had or reusable grocery bags. Ziploc bags are another really good thing for organizing. The next thing you're gonna do is sort your toys into piles. Do a variety of different toys in one box. That way it's gonna maximize the time that the kids are gonna be entertained with that specific box. Now get out your buckets, get out all those storage containers, and start filling them up. You can print off these free printables. I have them in uh, this teal color, but I also have them in pink. You can get that at penniesintopearls.com and I'll have the link below. One tip is I have these labels on both sides of the boxes. So on this side, flip it around, and that label is gonna be on the other side too. So that's it, super simple, the one toy box rule. And at the end of the day, you're going to be so glad that you've organized all of your kids' toys. The cleanup time is super minimal. The kids will be happy, you'll be happy, and you'll have a nice, clean, organized house. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more frugal and fabulous living tips.